Hi there, this is FS Coach of Forex Mentor, and in this lesson, we'll be focusing on the introduction to fundamental trading. Now, without any waste of time, let's get started. Firstly, let's start with the definition of fundamental trading. Fundamental trading is when a trader focuses on economic events to determine which currency paid to buy and when to buy it. It is a way of analyzing potential moves of a currency through the strength and weakness of that country. What I mean by this is the fundamental trader uses economic events, which is also the macroeconomic indicators. They are specifically the news events which affect the market by creating high volatility movements. Now, the degree of that volatility will depend on the importance of that event, which is why you need to understand the importance of the specific news events and what they actually represent. I actually said here, it is a way of analyzing potential moves of the currency through the strength and weakness of the country. So let me give an example of what I mean here. Let's say, for instance, we have the U.S. news, which represents the United States of America. What we need to know first is that the U.S. usually has the biggest impact on the market because the U.S. is the biggest economy in the world. So what happens, let's say, for instance, the U.S. gains strength. Let me show you here. Let's say the U.S.A. gains strength based on the news affected in the market. Firstly, let's say we have two types of currency pairs. Firstly, we have the USD, XXX, and then the next pair we have here is XXX, USD. So what happens is, when the US is actually a base currency of a currency pair, we're looking for what is so-called bullish movement when the economy gains strength. And then here, when the US is actually a code currency, and then the economy gains strength, that means looking for the so-called, uh, which is vice versa if the economy actually loses strength. That's what I meant when I said uh, the potential movements of a currency through the strength and the weakness of the country, okay? So let's continue. Trading on fundamentals is more of a short-term trading, unlike technical trading, a scalper trader. What I mean by this is uh, a technical scalper trader is a day trader, of which they can trade up to a whole day trading. As to where a fundamental trader can only trade up to 10 to 15 minutes a day or depending on how many news they have on that day. Hence, I said it's a short-term trading, unlike technical trader. The fundamental trader use only 15 to 30 minutes to only analyze the charts and enter pairs. So that is all for the introduction of fundamental trading. Now let's go to the next slide. Okay. News events we are likely to trade. The news events we are likely to trade occur on the macroeconomic indicator, meaning the overall view of the economy. Firstly, on the news events we'd like to trade, we have what is so-called the USD news. Uh, the USD news, firstly, we have what is so-called the NFP. The NFP stands for the non-farm payrolls. The non-farm payrolls focus mainly on the employment change of the USA, meaning how many people are employed and how many people are unemployed. So we, we are able to identify like how many people actually contribute to the USA economy. They're very important and they usually have high volatility movements. Now, when do we find the NFP news? The NFP news, we usually find them on each month in the first week on a Friday. Okay. Now, secondly, we have the CPI and retail sales. The CPI and retail sales, the focus for both of them is mainly based on consumers, meaning for the CPI, we're focusing on the price of the consumer goods and services, meaning are they able to buy and is the economy able to make profits? And then on the retail side, we're focusing on the consumption spending of the consumers. For instance, like are they able to spend, is there circulation flow of money in the U.S. economy? As you can see, guys, they're very, very important as well to the economy, and henceforth, you must trade them too. Now, lastly, we have the FOMC. The FOMC stands for Federal Open Market Committee. Now, they have very, very high impact and they're very important to USA. They usually have even higher volatility than the NFP and also CPI and retail sales because the federal committees focuses mainly on the interest rates and the money supply of the economy, like the overall growth of the economy. Hence, they have the biggest impact when it comes to the forest market. They don't work as much as the NFP and this two right here. So when they do, okay, make sure that you trade them as they can double accounts or even blow if you don't know what you're doing. Now, that's all for the USD news. So the pairs that I normally trade in the USD news is usually first the USD JPY, the USD CHF and then that's when the USA is actually a base currency now let's say USA is a code currency I usually trade on the GBP USD and then Euro USD 
So those are the pairs that are actually most affected by creating high volatility movements when there's news for USD. Okay, so that's all for the USD news, guys. Secondly, let's go to the Australian news, which is the OD news. Now, on the OD news, firstly, we have the employment change, which is similar to the USD news, meaning when there is employment change, you're focusing on how many people are working and how many people are unemployed because you want to identify like how many people actually contribute to the economy of Australia. So secondly, we have the CPI and the retail sales, which is also focused on the consumer spending, which is important too. And then lastly, we have the GDP here. The GDP stands for Gross Domestic Product, also important to the Australian news because it represents all the goods and services produced within a year and how whether that affects the economy, meaning if the GDP is better than last year, that means the economy is doing well, meaning we produced more goods than last year. If the maybe uh, the GDP is lesser, that means the economy is doing bad, meaning the economy is less competitive to itself or other countries. Now, let's speak of the pairs of Australian news. So, the pairs that I usually trade on Australian news, firstly, when OD is a base currency, I usually focus on OD Japan and OD USD. And now let's say OD is a code currency, I'll focus on what is so-called Euro OD only. So, those are the pairs that I only trade when you have OD news because they tend to have high volatility movements. Now, that's all for the OD news. Now let's go to NZD News. Firstly, before we start with NZD News, I want to tell you guys that the NZD News doesn't work as much as the OD and the USD News. So when they do work, make sure that you do trade them. And then under the NZD News, we have the employment change and the CPI. I did explain about the employment change and the CPI. We focus on the unemployment rates and the employment rates of the economy. And here we focus on the consumer spending and the prices we have for the economy. So these are very, very important indicators for the New Zealand news. So, okay, the pairs that we trade for NZD news is we're focusing on NZD USD and then NZD JPY. Now, let's say now is a code currency. We're focusing on Euro NZD. That's only the pairs that have high volatility movements when there's NZD news. Okay, now that's all for the left-hand side, guys. Let's focus on our right-hand side. Now, on our right-hand side, firstly, we have what we so-called CAD News, Canadian News, which is from Canada. Before we continue, I want to tell you guys that there's a link between the USD and the Canada News. So, every time there's NFP, on the NFP day, there will always be Canadian News as well at the same time. So, the pair that joins these two is actually USD CAD. You see, USD CAD is a very, very powerful pair, guys, because it contains one of the two biggest economies. Okay, secondly, we have the employment change we did go through from this last three focus on the employment rates and the gbp we focus on the goods produced and then lastly we have the boc rate decision what the boc stands for it stands for the bank of canada rate decision now the bank of canada now is important to the cad because they focus on the central banks of canada meaning they focus on the interest rates they focus on the investment plans they focus on overall growth of the economy, meaning the circular flow of money. So they're very, very important to the economy of the CAD news. And then they also create what's so-called high volatility movements. Now, lastly, on our on our right hand side, we have GBP news. On GBP news, these are news from England, so which is a very, very big country too. So firstly, we have BOC rate decision. What BOC stands for? It stands for Bank of England rate decision. Similarly to the CAD news. BOC focuses on the interest rates, the central banks of England. These are very important news to the GBP economy. And then I do advise you to actually trade them all, okay? Or when they do, okay. So now, the pairs that I trade with the GBP, firstly, let's say now GBP is a base currency. I'll be trading on GBP USD or GBP Japan. Now, let's say now GBP is a base currency, Euro GBP. That pair is very volatile, doesn't normally follow setups. Now, let's continue. Now, all these events updates, you can find them on investing.com app. If you're using an Android, you can find them on Google Play. And if you're using an iPhone, you can find them on Apple Store. Now, let's say, for instance, now you're using a laptop, you can find them on my Facebook website. Now, I want to show you guys how to actually set up your investing.com app on how to really have high-impact news. So, without any waste of time, guys, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here, I have a clip of showing you guys how to set up your investing.com app to only have high impact news now in order to have high impact news in investing.com app you need to make sure you have only three bulls so three bulls in this investing.com app represents high impact news let me click on the video as okay as you can see right here we enter the investing.com app we go to calendar 
then go to the icon up there and then we can see we have different types of bulls you must make sure we only have three bulls which represents the high impact news so this is how you set up your investing.com app to only have high impact news that create high volatility movements in forest trading okay now let's go to when you're using my fx book now for instance let's say you're using my fs book it's a website you must type in the website myfsbook.com so now let's say you do type the facebook.com it might take you into home but make sure now you must go into economy calendar and you will be here now once you're here guys you also need to have only high impact news as you can see right here we have different types of impacts we have the non impact the medium impact and the low impact to make sure that you clean your news to only have high impact you come into this more option right here and when you get this more option you must remove the medium the low and the no impact at all to only have what is so called high impact news now you scroll down and save and as you save you're going to see there's only now what is so called high impact news you can see here now we have what a cleaner view of your news impact and then you're able to trade your news easily and you can plan your trades being a fundamental trader so let's go back to our, our pdf now let's go to the next slide on this slide here we have types of fundamental trading styles firstly you must understand which style you need to use in order to profit when news okay firstly we have our pending orders a pending order is an order that is activated or filled when the price buy hits the price where you set it on eg we have limits buy or sell limits and stop orders buy or sell stop now in pending order strategy of fundamentals we only focus on stop orders the buy or sell stop now i want to show you guys how, to, how you can use pending orders in order to profit in terms of being a fundamental trader now the stop order is for those who actually don't want to estimate the direction of the market so they're trying to keep it safe now let's say for instance the market is ranging in this manner okay it's in a downtrend and then we're looking for bullish movement but you're not sure whether it's going to occur or not so you want to remain safe so what you do is you first set your buy stop right here and then you set your sell stop right here after setting your sell stop and buy stop you make sure that you also set your take profit for the buy stop and the take profit for your sell stop so now let's say the market is right here we're waiting for the news events to okay let's say they're occurring at half past two they'll actually activate your stop order and now hit your tp in order to trade now let's say the the news didn't actually go for a bullish movement it went for a bearish movement it will activate your sell stop order and then how hit your tp now the only problem with this strategy is that you don't get to actually profit from the whole the volatility movement as you can see you only catch the small spike this is the safe part of uh, catching the fundamental news but as you can see like here it will provide you with less profits now the market execution focuses on m and w patterns firstly let's start with the m the m is created on a bearish reversal pattern meaning the m pattern is not complete until the price breaks out of the m or support firstly what you need to know about the m is the three types of m's let me show you what i mean there is what is so called an increasing m right here and then we have a normal m and then lastly we have a decreasing m what we have here is a high and a higher high and here we have a high and a high and lastly we have a high and a higher low so both this increasing and the decreasing m are very powerful than this normal m right here so these are three types of m that actually okay in the market and m is not confirmed until it actually breaks the support level of the market so let's say for instance our m will be like this and then when news okay that's when it actually be complete breaking your support level right here that's what i meant by that okay so now let's continue going to the to the w setup now the w is created on a bullish reversal pattern meaning the w pattern is not complete until it breaks out of the w or the resistance similarly to the m we have three types of w's we have the increase in w we have the normal w and lastly we have the decrease in w what do you have here we have a low and a lower high we have a low low here and here we have a low and a lower low i prefer using the market situations because you get to actually profit on the whole movement of the volatility of the spike of the market now i want to show you guys how to actually identify all these patterns in an actual market now let's go to our charts 
as you can see i'm only using the 15 and 30 minutes charts to analyze my news so in order to identify when the spikes occurred you must look where the market slowed down and then actually had what we so called biggest volatility movements so as you can see right here firstly i've already spotted two types of w's i have already so called an increase in w right here for myself before the news occurred the w actually went down first and then secondly created a spike up a strong movement as you can see right here guys it broke our what we so call our resistance right here and confirmed to become our w setup so this is very powerful as you can see you're able to catch on the whole spike of that volatility now secondly here we have also the second increasing w as well you can see it also slowed down before the news as you can see right here and then also created what we so call a big spike the reason i'm saying it's better to have the market execution is because you can see you get to actually profit on the whole movement of the market now let's go to the next pair we have to find or spot different types of market setups okay now this time we have the gold pair which is the xau usd what i see i see m setups firstly as you can see right here we have our declining or decreasing m see so it broke through my resistance as you can see the market slowed down here and then now it entered the pair what this did is also it retested after going down and also continued with the spike creating an overall down down big movement right here as you can see guys this is how you actually spot your m and w is an actual market and secondly here we have we have the m here the increasing m as you can see guys here before actually news okay the market actually slows down and then as you can see right here then secondly creates a bearish strong movement so it's very important for you guys to understand how to use this market execution and how to actually identify into the market. I want you guys to actually practice this skill over and over again. It will become as easy as it is for me for you too. Let's check on other charts if maybe there are also M's and W's to spot. So let's continue. On this third pair here, which is the USD Japan, I see W. It's hard to spot because it's not proper. I want you to know that it's not always that your W's and M's are going to be proper. As you can see right here, this is my W. As you can see here, the market slowed down before creating a small spike. I did tell you that a straight W doesn't normally have the same strength as the increasing or the decreasing Ws. As you can see right here, you can only catch this whole spike. And this is how a W was created. Okay? Now let's go to our next pair. Let's see if we can spot any Ws or Ms in this pair here. Okay, in this pair here, I've spotted my W. I'm pretty sure you can see it too. We have my W setup right here. This is very hard to spot as well. But as you can see, I see this because I can see that the market actually slowed down right here. And then created what is so called a strong bullish movement. Okay. So guys, that's all for me. Do this over and over again. Practice and it will become easier with time. FS Gold signing out.